Are we ready? What's that, a countdown? We'll go at the end of the countdown then, right? That seems like so long from I know. now. Does somebody tell me to wait for something? Or did you just turn on the... Okay, now the clock is on. Hey, everybody! My name is Mike Falzone, and welcome to the brand new version of a show called Table Talk, a show that we've been doing since the beginning of time, but now it's all revamped and new and painted. So usually, wow, what when we you were did... talking, <laughs> you know, like the thing in your eye, the, like the iris that like opens up. I just saw yours open up, and I saw in an episode of Sherlock that if that happens to someone and they look at you like that, that means they love you. So I know what you got oh, for that's, me. That's I love nice. it. Yeah, I'll kiss you. For did the you rest see of his brain? Yeah. Like, could you see right in? You his haven't been introduced yet, so oh. you don't talk at all. You didn't tell me the rules. I said, "Tell me the rules," hey. and you said, "Let's not do anything." Rule number one: <laughs> Shush till I talk to you. <laughs> uh, so you already kind of know what the show is about, but I'd like to take you for a little guided tour around the set. Over here we have some light up things and a shelf. And you over just here, downgraded it, was, it so well, much. You got, well, you got Let them figure it out themselves. A lot of people worked real hard on that. It lights up. Over here we have another thing that lights up with the title of the show. Oh my god. Over here we have some leading lines that were also painted by people who work real hard and I watched them. Do Andrew it. Delman. And oh, <laughs> here we have our first guest. We figure since it's like uh, the second annual first episode of Table Talk, we gotta have some real special guests. We have Will. That's my Will. That's I've been it. called special my whole life. Okay, and there's <laughs> not me. always in a good way. Nope, not always, but most of, I think you're a special boy. It's I no came fun. out a little early, but not that much, so it's cool. Like at the beginning? Yeah, I think I was like a like a couple weeks too early. So. A little premature. Yeah, a little premature. Not 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 so much that I had to be in like an incubator, but like they're like, all right, you know, like stay in. I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Toss in the microwave uh-uh. for a couple of minutes. I think. You do. Yeah, I think my parents drove by a Krispy Kreme and the fumes <laughs> went in, and I was like, wait, hold on. Go wait a minute. What are those donuts? I'm an infant. <laughs> I'm an infant. Um, my name is Mike Falzone. I'm the host, and uh, as a very special guest, we have Lee Newton, his boyfriend. Hey. Uh, Andrew Delman. That is I. I would kill you. <laughs> Why? That is not his name. Well, he's my name, Andrew by... Delman. But that's not your title. You're more. No, than that's that. my intro. I wrote that. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Andrew Delman. Yeah, really really then everyone watching is gonna go, "Oh, I'll watch him." Now. Yeah. Oh, now it's it. really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've also been in uh, my favorite commercial, which is for. I haven't seen any of your commercials. Uh, DraftKings yeah. and AT and T. Well, no, that was last <laughs> uh, sprint. <laughs> And, and so if you're in a random state somewhere, quick trip. Here you go. Thanks, man. I yeah. Know, I've never been. That's pretty good. Yeah. Dude, you're in commercials for shit that you've never even... Dude, That's the I, dream. You're I don't know, Hol- I don't know anything about fantasy football, but everyone is always like, Draft King, and they like want to talk to me. I'm like, dude, I know nothing. Do people mm-hmm. come up to you like, should I start Cam Newton this week? <laughs> <laughs> you were in the commercial? Dude, in the audition, they're like... Just start like going off, like just start improving about like sports teams. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like I got nothing, and the guy's like anything. So I start going off about like the Dodgers in the '90s, and the yeah. guy's like, "This is genius." Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Is it?" I know like Mike Piazza, like I got some of this. Can I go back in time and start Tommy Lasorda? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could talk about Tommy Lasorda for a while. Being a commercial person is kind of a cool career, cause like, yeah. I'm on TV, and I also do different stuff. You have to let him tell you that. No, no, no. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I'm a commercial Do you remember Uh, that guy that it was like probably like ten years ago? It was this Asian dude that was in every commercial. That one where he's like, uh, no, but. He was like, oh, man, he like it's like a Boost Mobile commercial, and he's like, he's in the bathroom, and he's like supposed to be conservative, but he's dancing, and it's uh-huh. hilarious. Pull that ass with a brand new drop. Speakers on black hype. Yeah. Because Wait a that, minute, dancing guy. Uh, he's a celebrity in my life because of that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. We couldn't get him, so we got him. Uh, so we <laughs> yeah, got him. Right there. Uh, we're also going on a stand-up comedy tour, mm-hmm. which is why I won't be here for the next three weeks. Where's that at? You know, all over the uh, the continental, um, it's like uh, it's in the northeast of the it's just United New States York. <laughs> Usually, when people say um, New York, oh shit, Bridgeport, Connecticut, wow, and then we're back. Maybe Long we Island, back. maybe maybe Long yeah, Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where are you guys gonna use the bathroom the whole time? Like, what is that? My what kind of question is that's that? That's my, like, my home base. My parents are in the northeast, so we're d- every time we have to do peeps or poops. We do just you go don't back you don't house. do the public restrooms? Oh, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't either. You gotta get yeah. that like, what if you go on a tour one? Yeah, that's why I'm like I'm not trying to do that. Mm. I used to want that was a big dream of mine until mm. I realized I can't poo poo in my own pee pee bus. But what if it's your own bus? What if it's your? If it's bus? my bus and, and I'm the only one, if I'm the only one using it, you have to be the only one though. 
Yeah, it could be me or like somebody close or like yeah, okay. some girl. If like girls that have really nice asses can sit on it too, but it, I don't. But really if a girl doesn't have a nice ass, you're like, sorry. I mean, that you ass can, ain't nice enough. That ain't, ass ain't nice enough. You can have the most beautiful face in the world and all the rest great, but like, don't well, sit on my toilet so with a jank have, ass. I like the, I like that you, that you have toilet rules though. Like it's not yeah, even yeah, a sexual thing. You it's go on the terrible. bus and there's a list of toilet. <laughs> yeah, things. it's like. I I read the other day that apparently Lil Wayne had sex with some girl on his tour bus threw a hundred dollars and then kicked her out that's a prostitute i mean but she wasn't he made though. her he oh, just he okay. made her a prostitute just the, just the huh, interesting isn't it great like you when he got so famous people could make up anything about him and people would be like yeah that sounds like lil wayne yeah. but in like a really really horrible way he didn't really have to pay her right like, yeah. I, I bet she was down so like yeah. that's more of a gift that was more of a gift <laughs> when you're horrible. famous no one ever makes up like good shit that you do no one ever makes up like philanthropist no. like oh did you hear about lil wayne planting a community garden yeah. no one's no. ever said no that. did no. not Said that. Um, all right, man. So what we do on this show is we're going to go around the table and we're going to pull a couple of these questions. Usually we pull the audience for these things, but I have gone ahead since they gave me control of this show and I stole a bunch of questions from eHarmony. <laughs> hey, sorry. Time out for just a hot second. I know what you're thinking. Seriously? No topics from the audience? I know, I know. He's new. Don't hold it against them. No need to worry, though. We're going to still be pulling topics from you guys. As you know, you can submit them using the hashtag TableTalk on Twitter or reddit.com slash r slash sourcefed. But we're also going to be pulling questions from the comment sections of these videos. So go ahead and write them down below. Go ahead. I'll wait. Kidding. <laughs> Proceed, gentlemen. Let me get out of here. Go. Go. And uh, that's what's in here now. So would you like to be our first... But actually, uh, this yeah, is kind so. of important. Yeah, should we maybe leave this up to a guest, or should we leave it to uh, There it is. Well, I really like the eHarmony idea. It's <laughs> we'll funny. get to you eventually. Who right? cut these so slim? I did it. <laughs> I saw you spit all over the table. Too. <laughs> what toppings are needed to create the perfect burger? Ooh, oh, my God. So this God, is something you would ask on a first date uh, with someone from eHarmony. Oh, uh, go home. I don't want to be on this date with you anymore. You wouldn't answer that question? Nah, but seriously, put bacon and tomatoes on it. Ooh. Mayonnaise, Ooh. mustard. I'm talking a, b a bun. Uh -huh. Sesame seed. Okay. Yeah. What kind of bun though? Sesame seed. Oh, I'm sorry. You just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twice yeah. yeah. yeah Actually, but I didn't put two and two together. Recently, I've been really messing around with some Hawaiian bread. Whoa. What's so, Hawaiian bread? It's like, like a sweet bread. bread. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet oh bread. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like it, the, it's like that Shake glaze? Shack bread, right? Like it's kind of sweet. And I don't know. You don't know. I don't You're go not places, in on that? gentlemen. Okay. Sure. Okay. I'm, I'm what you call an introverted extrovert. Okay. Wait, are you like are you like testing me right now on this show? No. Do you not know that I work on this channel? Like, hold on. I don't I, I don't want any confrontation. What? This is so aggressive, what you're doing with the laid back, yeah, and it's the like, relaxed voice. It's too aggressive. The sweater, I even though like, it's really hot in here. Like, you're just going it's so for it. Hot. I, know. I was not wearing this all day, I'll be honest with you. you know, the I was first like, thing I looked at in my uh, my closet today was this, and I said, nope, that's too hot. And then I decided on this because I hate everything else. I literally had two auditions before this and one was for a VW oh, guy and I had like a suit on uh -huh. and I was running late and I was like fuck it I'm showing up in a suit and Lee's like no <laughs> so like I came home and I'm like flower shirt like it's young it'll appeal the young audience yeah, that's exactly what everyone's imagine if I showed up in like a suit and I'm like hey how's it going uh, Tampa Tuck that would have been, been absolutely fun and that's what I was saying yeah I've been oh, new um, it's my thing I don't want to jump the gun a little bit, but uh, as you may or may not know, we take uh, shit out of this bucket, then mm. we launch it uh, at the camera with a launcher. Hey, well. uh, we've had the same launcher since the beginning of time. This is a fan-made launcher, but we went ahead and we painted it so it matched the new set. I feel like he would be upset with that. Probably, but he's, This is know, my art. I already perfected realistically, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Realistically, he or she doesn't even watch this show anymore. Probably so not. So this is brand new to everybody. Everybody else should, though. All right. right. There's so much, the cameras are so much further away than... If are. I make this, all everybody in this room gets to slap me in the mouth. Everybody gets naked if you do it. That was insanely yeah. close. So close, I got scared. Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. like, why did I say that? <laughs> I was like, I got big hands. Here they come. You know what I would put on a burger if it was me? Yeah. <laughs> Which it is. I'm asking my own self the question now. Any breakfast. Breakfast? I would use You're the burger as a plate for breakfast. Omelette burger... Yeah. Right? A little bit of syrup. Syrup is so strong, just pour a little bit. You on put the... syrup on an omelet? I mean, you said breakfast. Yeah, you did say yeah, breakfast. Yeah, but you, you said don't breakfast. Like syrup. You're you said any different... breakfast. You just be... Okay, that. well, here's perfect Did you example. just mean an egg? You can... Everyone shuts up for a second. You could drink 
orange juice and milk for breakfast, yep. but you don't want to do this shit together, yeah, would you? Can. Yeah, would you? orange juice to drink cereal, boom. I'm just saying, if you have a little bit of syrup, <sighs> okay. and you pour a little bit of syrup on a bun, boom. it will not take over the rest of the You're flavors. You're just all yeah, about the, the sweet bun. The sweet bun. Sweet bun. Sweet. Oh, we got a thing here. Yes. Okay, sweet bun. Why sweet bun. Thinking? Little syrup. Little bit of syrup. Uh, maybe an egg. Little bit on of love. Uh -huh. Get down tonight. That's How about, okay, now, I, w I want to join the conversation be friends. Okay. So how about... You don't like anything we get, sweet. No, 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 shut this out. We get a burger. <laughs> we get a burger. Yeah, okay. Right? And we have a little pancake and a little yeah. pancake for the buns. That's called the thing, a McGriddle. No, That's those are like waffle things. <laughs> they like, are waffle things. But fun. they do have syrup in that's what I'm saying. Just a little bit. You lost me. There. I was I was on this train, but then it went to breakfasty. I, I want the hybrid. I, I want the like burger breakfast. part with the breakfast inside. I don't want all breakfast. I'm bummed out because I thought this was like a yes and. Let's all make something. <laughs> no, no, brush. we're not. We're not a UCB dog. What the fuck would you put on a thing? <laughs> also, um, we're not swearing on the new tabletop. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, I already <laughs> broke the rules <laughs> three times, but I'll work on it. I'm yeah. just kidding, man. Be yes. yourself. Um. Whoa! I, was nice. I killed someone. <laughs> See, for me, it's hard because if I get too many options, I just ruin it. Because I just like suicide a burger. It's like I'll just put everything on it. Like Start at Subway, when I go to Subway, it's just awful. Because I'm like all of it, and yeah. I'm like this tastes awful. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'd have to go with like hamburger, yeah. like the just normal meat, sure. brioche bun. What's a brioche? I don't bun? know, but it's whenever <laughs> I've had it, I'm like, this is great. And then Lee's like, that's a brioche. I'm like, brioche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Next time, too. Yeah. And I like the egg on top. If they do it right, that's really Have good. Have you had a, like a breakfast burger like that? The one when they do like the hash browns? The, no. And the oh, oh dude, God, that's man. amazing. And it has like a fried egg on top. Yeah. It's amazing. There's this place in, in Ar uh, is Arby's. It Arby's. Arlington. Neither of those places were the place that I was thinking of. It's a, a place in Pennsylvania. Fuck it. it was Why would so I Arlington, bad. Pennsylvania, obviously. Arlington Moore, Pennsylvania, I think it's called. Arlington. Coming yes. at you again. Anyway. That was even worse. Give All right, man. Yeah, that, that'd there. be that. Let's do you this. do look like a young dad. Like right. you have a kid that you carry on your back all the time. That's you didn't see the commercial, but in the com the DraftKings commercial, I have a baby strapped on the front of it. A real one? Yes. How would you teach the baby to like you? So this was terrifying. Know. They brought identical twin babies in, identical twins. Yeah. And then one of them started crying. They just took that one out, <laughs> and then they just reloaded the new. Swap them out for Jeff. Yeah, and I'm just like, uh, but like it's a baby, and this was like a baby baby, like not like a baby that needs to be around people, like yeah. fresh baby. Yeah. Every time they said go, the baby starts crying. And so I'm trying to like play with the baby because I'm like, I don't, there's a lot of people here. I don't want to look like an asshole. And the guy yeah. goes, just fucking <laughs> And I'm like, okay, bye, baby. Like, we're doing the job now. And then, yeah, not about you anymore. And in the commercial, they cut the baby out. So you just see the head now. So they yeah. could have just used a doll. Like, yeah. they're yeah, just like, yeah. the baby sucked. Like, let's get out of here. Did so, the baby get like no, 10 not, grand? Not anymore. That? Not anymore. You have to be recognizable. Baby's out. Baby gets no college fund. Like Zero fact. money for Zero. that? No, they, well, get the they got the day rate. What yeah. about the baby's time? Baby's I would out. be so could've mad. Been eaten baby's pureed. out. Because, like, as I, like, in, in Listen, if you're, if you're, you know, a GMO factory baby and you're put on a commercial shoot you need to do your part or you're out you're out 100 <laughs> so you gotta work yeah. when you're a commercial person like you you like you get paid the day rate for being there because mm -hmm. they couldn't just not pay you and you hope in six months that right. you're actually in the commercial i'd be so mad if my forehead was in there <laughs> like, you better give me forehead money there like, you can't even like when that kid's older you can't yeah. be like well i was in a commercial like no yeah. you fucking well, no, that was everything it was yeah. sad dude i was in this at&t commercial and like me and this guy had this whole like handshake thing mm -hmm. and then they literally cut it down so there's none of that it's just me putting headphones on and going back to the computer <laughs> no, he never has the I made like 40 grand on that commercial <laughs> and, the, and the guy was like hey man did they ever air our spot and I'm like uh, yeah. they did air put some spot. residual check yeah, yeah. back in the pocket <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but, then I, but then I went on the director's <laughs> website and his cut of the commercial it has our whole thing oh, yeah. but that never aired so that guy got zero dollars zero cents but he's on the guy. He's so. just helping the director get more jobs. Yeah, he All right, man. You want All right, I already these? grabbed one, but oh, we just, okay, we just yeah, went no, on you it. Do it. Okay. Remember when people used to put E in front of everything, like E harmony? <laughs> <laughs> that one was on one. I added that to the thing. They did. They totally For, did. There was like a five year span where everything was after email, there was no e. one. Was oh, safe. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just like iPhone and iCarly. I can't go really ahead and think of anything else. Pull, pull e. another one out because that one was. Yeah, bad. that was really bad. Go ahead and you I'll do have. one. Do I do this now? Let me do one. Oh, God. I'm not a left hander. Okay, here we go. No, I don't like this one either. 
I wrote it in his back. Okay. You hit a light. I did. Oh, fucking dangerous. Yeah. Oh, here's one of my favorites that I just found out about a couple minutes ago. What is your favorite go-to meal when you're home alone? Top ramen. Ooh. Yeah? It's just easy. Not ordering out. Just Man. like Oh, you the... didn't. I didn't know that. I thought you meant, because at you're home. You're just eating at your, oh. at your own. <laughs> last night, <laughs> I was, I was, last night I was like, man, I'm hungry. I want some crab rangoons, because that makes me feel good. Because it's sweet. I want that. Cream cheese ram 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 that's what your first comedy special is called. Cream come on, that rain good. I totally missed the call when they got there. When the little boy comes to the door and is like, oh, here's your food. I totally didn't hear it. Yeah. And I was actually a little happy that I got to just eat cereal. I was like, cool. Wait a minute. So they made your food and they brought it to you. And then I didn't hear the phone call. So then they went back. Somebody so they else went back. is eating your crab yeah. rangoon. Because like what I could have them do is I could buzz them into the building and have them walk all the way to my yeah, door and yeah. knock on it. But mm -hmm. I feel bad that I'm ordering food. I'm like, ah, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have you bring my food all the way to my house, I might as well walk down the hallway. To go, the gate. You're yeah. a real hero. I'm a real hero. Yeah, yeah, a he doesn't man. have to find my apartment. You're no, the real MVP. Fair. That is fair. That's I I know of uh, somebody who will order out. Mm -hmm. And because they're not making the food themselves, they'll go walk to the restaurant to like oh, kind of like your up? thing to counteract oh, no, no, the no, no, laziness. No. Of That's a little bit food. better. That's a little bit better than my move. But my point of ordering food is so I don't have to get in my car. Or you do just an order of. Oh, I had other cheese. stuff. I got. I was gonna say that's not enough to make them yeah, come out. Yeah. You gotta hit the minimum. Crab yeah. rangoon, orange chicken. Oh shit. Thai iced tea. Thai iced, iced tea. tea for Darren. Thai iced tea for Ava. Cause I had to get the delivery nice. number above. Just hooking it up. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Thirty-seven dollars. No, but they always do that math, so it's so awkward. You're like, I'm doing a water, and yeah, then they're like, yeah. you got to do one more thing. Yeah. You're one cent away. You're like, <laughs> yeah. one cent. Why is yeah, that? Yeah. And then you end up having a bunch of oh, Snapples. God. I did that once. I bought like snapples. three Snapples. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, hey, everybody in the house, everybody gets a free Snapple. And they had the audacity to tell me, we don't want Snapples. Yeah. Snapples are gross. Can snapples. we say fuck? Yeah, yeah we've Fuck already... you guys. <laughs> yeah. Dude, just Can we say think... fuck? Well, you said it. <laughs> snapples aren't shit. too sweet, man. Yeah. Just cut that shit with some water, and all of a sudden you have two Snapples. That's true. Half a Snapple, you sound a like gallon an of old water. Woman. You're making fun of me as a dad. You're like, let's <laughs> water down the Snapples. It's too much for me. <laughs> if it hurts your toe. <laughs> now we have two Snapples, and then everyone, get out of here. I do it. I do the same thing with, uh, what are those called? The Coca-Cola? <laughs> yeah. My dad Coca -Cola does. Gallon my gallon my dad will water down soda. There is nothing nastier. My than friend, that. my friend Garrett cannot have ice in his soda. Like we would go out and he's like, uh, can I have Dr. Pepper no ice? And I'm like, dude, mm -hmm. what's that all about? And he goes, Yeah. When I was a child, I was very hyper and my mom would water down all my sodas. So oh, now God. when the ice is in there, if I taste any water, I freak out and yeah. I'm like, okay, you have some weird Jesus, She did really? something else to you. Yeah. This is starting to sound like the Sixth Sense with the pine saw and yeah. the... <laughs> also, then she waterboarded me for half yeah. a um, uh, I guess my favorite... Dude, this is bad mm -hmm. and I always kind of hate myself afterwards. Not kind of. I always definitely hate myself afterwards. It, yeah. But if I'm home alone, I know Zoya's not coming home till super probably cheating on me with Will or yeah, whatever she definitely. does. She hugged That's me the other day and I realized that I really like that type of person. The person that hugs you? Yeah. <laughs> you have such yeah. low standards. I mean, <laughs> you're hugging me, you're in. Nice. I love Oh. Between that and the iris thing. Yeah, you guys are falling in love right in front so of So anyway, what I, heads up, I hit you in the shoulder, man. That has a lot Just of velocity. Just go for it. Just go. Uh, I will order a small like pepperoni pizza mm -hmm. from Domino's. Yeah. Or a small pizza with sausage and a jalapenos. In a calzone. Why would you say that? Because your name is Falzone. <laughs> All right, man. Now <laughs> I still stick by the top ramen. Yeah, so. well, you answered first, and we remembered yeah. your answer. I already okay, forgot cool, the man. question. Yeah, You're going to uh, insult me on the first episode. I thought it was like we're all just having a good time. We That's were. what you said in the beginning. We you were did. until... Remember? Listen, you shut me down the second I came <laughs> on the show, and then I was politely quiet. And you're just shutting me down left and right. I haven't had a good calzone uh, in a while. I would, dude, when I was younger, I used to eat calzones with my hands. Yeah. Right? I, fork and knife. No, thank you. That's a delay. I would rip it with my hands. Like ripping open yeah. a football filled with cheese. Yeah. And you dip it in the marginerida sauce. And marginerida. I'm, I'm, I'm like, <coughs> By the way, thank you for sending me that photo the other day that you took. I forgot about <coughs> when we were outside of that bar. And we were... <laughs> 
<laughs> we had gone to a bar, I forgot for what reason, and I was like, ooh, I want some cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, that bar didn't have cheesecake. So yeah. Mike and I went to the Vons next to it, Okay. ate cheesecake with my hands. <laughs> this is fucking wild. Like a pizza. We were at a karaoke yeah. night yeah. at a small establishment by the name of Sardos. Okay. I hate Sardos, but I'm always at Sardos. And it was an interesting night, and then this dude is just like, I want cheesecake, the bar doesn't have cheesecake, we went to Vons. It was like, oh man, I don't have a fork and knife, I don't have napkins or whatever. I can't express to you how important it is to have at least one photo of a good friend of yours mm -hmm. eating cheesecake with his hands in a parking lot outside of Vaughn's. You can use it for anything. Yeah. I'm gonna use it for stand-up flyers <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> And I wasn't until I sent it to you and I wanted to get the okay. Yeah. And I was basically like, Will, I want to put this everywhere. Go for it. But it's either the funniest or saddest thing I've ever seen See, in my life. it's funny now, but Let's like two years ago. Let's go ahead and put it up ago. on screen. <laughs> Good. I've been doing that for years. When you really want it, like forks and spoons only hinder you yeah. to slow yeah. you down. Yeah. And you enjoyed it. You enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. It's even better like that. I eat it at my own proportions, bitch. When you were eating it, you look like a squirrel trying to hide it from the <laughs> summertime. Oh, that's funny. That's put it funny. in my cheek. All right, you guys. Uh, very special new segment of every okay. show that I host, every table talk that I host, uh, where we dip into the Mike Falzone's Lee Eel Cup of Cues, which is just a tiny styrofoam cup uh, mm -hmm. filled with conversation starters that I wrote my own self. We usually sure. put one of these in an episode because they're very special. Uh, yeah. Speaking of special, special guest. <laughs> uh, would you like to pull one of these for yeah, us? Yeah, sure, I'll pull this one. Thank you. All right, I'm going to read it now. You go, well, that's... It was important. ten. Period. Would you? The tenth? Didn't well, you didn't. You didn't. But these aren't in order. These are like completely random. You don't have to read the numbers. <laughs> there are no rules here. <laughs> ten. Period. Would you rather replace your farts with a text tone, yep. or replace your text tones with farts? Mm. This is a good question. Well, we my text. My texts are already fart sounds, so that's that's already good. Are they really? I get a text. If I text you right now, it's gonna be no. It's on airplane mode because I'm respectful. That's a yeah, that's yeah. a prof that's a <laughs> fucking professional yeah, working is. actor. But uh, wow. but yeah, no. So I already got fart sounds. So I think it'd be funny if instead of farting and everyone's looking at me, it's like doo doo doo, and yeah. they're like, oh okay, what was that text? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah idiot. you're the only person. Wait for it? this. They're like that text smells awful. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's... Who's texting you, an old butcher? <laughs> what about you? Uh, I, my fart, my farts are already pretty melodic. Like, I can like, I can segment like them. F major. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you think Obama? You know how Obama does that? You think he's <laughs> oh, ever yeah, been yeah. like, I went on too long for that one? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, do you ever think he's on the couch with Michelle and he does that? He goes, Hey, hey Michelle. <laughs> now that you think about it, like Michelle Obama has definitely heard the president let oh, for one years. Yeah, definitely. For years and oh, years. She's been crop tested by the president <laughs> many times. <laughs> many times. Maybe Dutch oven. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. I'd right. definitely uh I'd switch my fart sounds for some some text tones. It'd be like a it'd be something like simple. Just boop. Just a just a beep. Just boop. Because I, I like to be subtle with things. Or like Dude. a vibrate. <laughs> Oh, yeah, even better. Because right. <laughs> it would kind of feel kind of good. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. it opens up the anus anyway, and if you get a vibration sensation um, in there, you know, you might uh, come harder. Especially if, you, mm, especially if you're on a Keep plane texting. or something yeah. like that, and you don't want people to know you farted, but, like, you shake a little bit. Yeah. Like, you, when you're, your phone, when it's on a coffee table, you're like, Zzz. Oh, yeah. like, oh, shit, man, did you just fart? <clears throat> mm -hmm. That just makes it... When I, don't, I never understood the cough fart thing because I feel like that's just going to make my fart louder. I'm going to push it out. Yeah, like yeah. with force. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You know, what kind of abdominal core. core strength yeah, yeah. do you have? Yeah. Like, and whose who's cough smells like somebody's ass? <laughs> yeah. That's a horrible anyway. breath. Dude, I would, without question, replace my farts with tech tone, text tones and I would want the tone to be bamboo. What's is that? Yeah, which one's I'm gonna find I think it. I know. You guys talk about something. Yeah, yeah. You can pick another one. You want to pick another one? Uh, Maybe from the yeah, cause, bucket. Yeah, because I can't. Not from the lee yeah, eel. Uh, answer it quick, gentlemen. Favorite day ever. On site, I pulled these questions from. There's know. a photo child standing alone at a carnival. I don't know how to get to the sounds. Uh, I kind of like uh, Wednesdays. Oh, it's called, my favorite day of the week. It's called hump day. Yeah. It's right in the middle. 
I don't really have a real job, so I don't. I'm always at home, that's so I got to pick one of that's them. That's the one major thing. You will never meet somebody with a nine to five who's like, I think Wednesday is my favorite. <laughs> or well, I can't say Friday or any. And like Mondays are cool. Yeah. Tuesdays, those are cool too. Dude. Mainly the weekends suck. Do you just feel good all the time? <laughs> no, you know what? He doesn't. No, which I know. Is I have. Re- yeah, I know. Sometimes I'm, like, I'm not doing enough. <laughs> or my favorite. I've never had so much money and so little to do. <laughs> People just come up to me and they just want to kill me. Yeah. Uh, I've never had so much money and so little to do. Do you have a favorite day real quick? Because uh, I want to do something special at the end of this episode. I used to say Mondays because I used to shoot People Be Like on that days, but now I do everything all day. So, you yeah. know, whatever. Let's they all feel lens. the same. Let's I'm going to say lens. Saturdays because yeah. it's Friday. You probably still have to do important shit. Mm. But then you're like, tomorrow I'm off. And then you're like, oh... I forget about Sunday all the time. Mm, I forget that Sunday exists every week, Mm. consistently. And then I wake up on Sunday, and I'm like, shit! It's fucking Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, I got nothing to do. Yeah, Actually, one of the most valuable things you can give someone is your Saturday. Saying, you know what? I like you so much. This Saturday, I'm going to do what you want to do. That's beautiful. That's nice. That's real nice. Give someone a Saturday. It's free. Yeah, not your grandma, though. Yeah, unless you count the fact that you're never going to get time of your life back. All right, if I make this, everyone in this room gets to slap me as hard as they want in the mouth. Okay, Part of me like, thinks you want that to happen. Yeah, I know. You know but I want to be hurt. <laughs> Listen, sit down and shut yeah, up. Down. I'm masochistic, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, now, a brand new segment we're going to have at the end of this show is called Table Talk Takeaways. Mm-hmm. And that's why I asked my guests to go ahead and look into their one shot, which is an industry term for a camera that just shoots you because you're selfish. Mm-hmm. And you're going to look in at the camera, and we're going to have our friend Owen come in, play a little bit of uh, contemplative, I'll call it uh, full house outro music. Yeah, this better gonna, have batteries in it. <laughs> if it doesn't, that'll be even better. <laughs> you know, a little uh, moment of silence. Will, we'll have you start it up. Okay. You're going to look right into that camera, and you're going to talk about once he fucking figures out whatever the shit is going on back there. That I learned today. Anything, your Table Talk takeaway. What did you learn from this particular episode of Table Talk? Hmm, that's actually not that hard. Oh, and you <clears> let me know when you're ready to rock it. Uh, oh, okay, there it is. Again? Hey. This is working out perfectly so far. Will, go ahead. You know, I didn't know that. When I sat down at this table talk table, I would come back different, more learned, more experienced, filled with vibrations from the sounds of my friends. What I learned is that it's possible to have too much money and not enough to do. That's my dream, but for when I'm like 65. And like it's harder to pick up the remote control, but then again, by that time they won't have remote controls. It'll just be like TV put on the naked women. And that's about it. All right, Owen, shut up. That was beautiful. That was really nice. I feel touched. I feel yeah, like I really learned nice. something from what you learned. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Now, uh, gentlemen, go ahead and look yeah, at your sure. one shot and talk right. about your table talk. Okay. Takeaway. Owen? I learned that don't speak until introduced. And uh, today I just started talking like I was, you know, one of the grew. The, not the grew, the crew. And, What's a grew, do you think? Um, and then I was shut down uh, by Mike and uh, Will. But I learned very quickly that... Once I was introduced, like, I was part of the group. So, uh, really just wait until you're introduced. Don't just be aggressive. Don't go up to strangers just, like, talking. Like, just stand there until they see you. And then you can make friends just like that. You done? I, yeah, yeah. I was waiting for the music. Hey, Owen, shut up. <coughs> that was very good. Thank you. This guy, I felt like it was heartfelt. All right, uh, now I'll try one. Go ahead and uh, give me number one. Uh, Owen? You know... I started back here a couple months ago, and uh, I didn't know what was what was gonna happen. Am I might just coming in for a couple days a week or, or whatever? Then they called me into the the top office here at SourceFed, and they're like, "We're gonna give you a show. And that show's gonna be table talk." So what what can I do? This thing's been around forever. How do I make it my own? Well, I bring in a tiny styrofoam cup that I found in one of the back rooms. It was on the floor. I filled it with a bunch of conversation starters that I would never use myself, but maybe it'll make for some good whatever for whatever we're doing now. And that's what I learned today. All right? I learned that me and Will will probably be fucking Owen. Keep it going. <laughs> I learned that me and Will will probably be friends forever. And me and Delman, well, our friendship is probably going to end after the Life is Beautiful tour mm-hmm. happening now. So for what it's worth, this is the last time we ever did this. And Will, I look forward to seeing you when I get back. And that's my table talk takeaway. Thank you so much. I'm doing a show at the Improv in Hollywood on May 6th at 8 p.m. Delman, where can they find you on? I got a show. Owen, 
I got Come a, on! I got a show on 420 at Formosa Cafe, and also uh, give a friend a Saturday. Give, right. a, friend give a, a friend a Saturday. Give a friend a Saturday. Good shit, you guys. All right, turn the cameras off. Don't turn the cameras off. 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 I want to keep going. Um, That's not how No, the show I don't works. care if it's off. I just want to with you guys. Okay, yeah. I don't really do What's friendship. What's one thing like about that? you that would surprise me? Good or bad? Day well, I got a day <laughs> what if I did Gilbert Godfrey? Now that's a good voice. A nice Gilbert Godfrey, very smooth, very nice. It's like a nice wine. A wine that's gone really bad. You know, how many sinks do you guys have? You know, are they comfy sinks? I get like kind of like crampy and I, I can, I've been known to get a little grumpy. 